Number 16, this is 1947 Jefferson nickel in mean state 67 plus, an elusive nickel with five full steps, according to NGC price guide. As of August 2023, a Jefferson nickel from 1947 in circulated condition is worth between 10 cents and 50 cents. However, on the open market, 1947 nickels in pristine and circulated condition sell for as much as $215. MS67 plus gems are rare and worth hundreds of dollars. This example was sold for $1057.50 with buyer's fee. Number 15. This lot includes set of two 1968 S error nickels. First one is a mint state 64 red and is struck on a Lincoln cent, so called double denomination coin. The second one in mint state 65 red, struck on a cent planchet. This lot fetched a sum of $1,440 on August 20th, 2023. Number 14, moving on with his 1964 Lincoln cent struck on silver 10 cent blank. Due to insignificant amount of difference in planchet size, all letterings are available. Though in God we trust is little bit distorted and weakly struck. Overall coin has a very nice eye appeal. Graded in mean state 65 by PCGS, this error penny was bargained for $1,260. Number 13, 1979 Washington Quarter, graded in mean state 68 plus by NGC. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, the US means struck about half a billion 1979p Washington Quarters, making it a very common issue. It is fairly common up to MS66 condition. MS67 examples are very scarce. Anything grading higher than MS67 is considered rare. This MS68 Plus gem ended up selling for $2,822.62 with buyer's fee. Number 12, this is 1982p Canada Elf Dollar in MS67 Plus condition. The 1982p Canada Elf Dollar is one of the scarcer issues in gem condition. It is similar in scarcity to the 1984D and 1990D. The 1982P is common in circulated grades up to MS65 grade. In MS66, it's a little bit tougher but still easily available, with hundreds if not thousands still out there. In MS67, it now becomes very scarce. This gem was sold for $2,925 with buyer's fee. Number 11, this is 1924 the Lincoln Cent in MS64 plus red condition, CAC proven superb gem. According to NGC, the Denver Mint had not coined cents since the small production of early 1922, and demand for additional pieces returned very slowly to the region it served. Denver coined for the nation's breadbasket states, and American farmers were in distressed conditions throughout the decade. Most 1924 descents were poorly struck from quite worn dyes. Fully red gems are very elusive, and mint state coins in any grade are in constant demand. It was sold for $4,749.75 with buyer's fee. Number 10, 1920 Lincoln Cent in MS67 red condition. This is a breathtakingly beautiful example of both type and the issue that will serve as a highlight in the finest collection. Lustrous light orange surfaces retain full vivid color. The strike is full, the texture smooth and the satiny, and the eye appeal is nothing short of extraordinary. It was sold for $5,760. Number 9, this is 1970s Lincoln Cent from Small Date Variety, PR69 Red Deep Cameo, virtually pristine and surpassed quality for this popular Lincoln Cent variety in a PCGS holder. Serene surfaces are boldly cameoed in finish with deeply mirrored field supporting frosty design elements, fully struck as befits a method of Manufacture with pinkish rose of burst color that yields to even more vivid reddish rose on the reverse. According to Stax Bowers, a little known fact about the small date variety of the proof 1970s 
is that it's easy to attribute by looking at the word liberty than at the date itself. On examples of these varieties of letters in liberty, we can markedly from left to right. Number 8. Another error penny here is 1972 Lincoln cent struck on a silver dime dated 1964. Graded in mid state 63 by PCGS. Double denomination coin displaying shadowy impression of Roosevelt's head on obverse. Both dates are readily available. This error cent was sold for $7,200. Number 7, this is 1966 Canada of dollar from special mean set, graded in mean state 68 condition with deep cameo. A truly remarkable example of both the type and the issue. Both sides are fully untoned with bold field to device contrast. Virtually pristine as well and sure to catch the eye of discarding Canada of dollar collectors. Also, the mean to prove the quality of 1966 SMS half-dollar issue after receiving complaints about its 1965 SMS predecessor, precious few survivors from a mintage of 2,261,583 pieces exhibit enough contrast to support a deep camera designation from PCGS. This gem was sold for $7,200. Number 6 here is 1942 Washington Quarter in PR68 condition. The brilliant centers of this proof quarter are surrounded by concentric halos of crimson, blue, and sea green, elliptical in, in nature on the obverse and perfect circles on the reverse. It ended up selling for $8,225. Number 5. This is 1965 Canada dollar in MS 67 condition, a truly astounding example, notable for its superior preservation and remarkable patina. Pans of the superhero genre might call this the two faced specimen, as it offers two distinct personalities on one planchet. The left hemisphere on each side boasts a rich autumnal iridescence of the olive gold, magenta, and powder blue color. This toning is dynamic and jewel-like, glowing with various shades as it rotates under a light. It was sold for $9,000. Number 4. Here is 1920 Lincoln Cent in MS67 plus red condition. Comes with green CAC sticker on this PCGS slab. A CC proven coin refers to a coin that has been evaluated and endorsed by the Certified Acceptance Corporation. CAC is a third-party coin authentication and grading service that focuses on the evaluating coins that have already been graded by major grading companies such as NGC or PCGS. The CAC proven superb gem was sold for $25,312.50 with buyer's fee. Number 3. This is 1961D Washington Quarter in MS67 plus condition. Undoubtedly from an original mint set, this originally an attractively toned Washington Quarter displays the most vivid shades of emerald, orange, and gold, particularly on the obverse. The surfaces are delightfully smooth and the luster is nothing short of intense. Also available in an absolute sense, a late date. 90% silver Washington Quarter issues such as 1961D are surprisingly rare in the finest mean state grades as here. It was sold for $24,000. Number 2. Here is 1956 Lincoln Sentinel MS68 red condition. Attractively toned pristine specimen with boldly struck device elements and lustrous surfaces. With nearly half a million pieces coined, this issue is hardly rare, even in fully red gem condition. It is only at the MS67 red level that the population sinks considerably. MS68 gems are rare. This one was sold for $29,250 with buyer's fee. Number 1. And this is vividly toned 1948 Washington Quarter in MS68 plus condition. This captivating superb gem really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. 
The obverse is exceptionally vivid with a full endowment of intense steel lilac, salmon pink and gold olive iridescence. The reverse is largely silver tinged, yet enhanced by a nearly complete halo of crimson orange iridescence around the periphery. Seren surfaces are fully frosted and finished, and temptingly close to numismatic perfection. While the 1948 is a higher mintage issue, it is scarcer in gem condition than the lower mintage S mints of the era, since the S mints were saved in larger quantities. These rare specimens ended up selling for $43,200. Thanks for watching this video. For more captivating numismatic content, subscribe to our channel and activate bell button below this video. And do not forget to hit the like button. Have a good one.